Hi guys, uh, I'm back for some more tech. Uh, we're going to do a Tinkercad chip clip based on a YouTube tutorial today. Um, and then I'll go back to uh, the fidget spinner after this. This is a nice little practical thing that you can design and make. And, you know, if you eat part of a bag of chips, you can roll up the top and put the little clip on there. Keep some fresh so you can enjoy them later on. So I've logged into Tinkercad. I'm just going to create new design, open a blank screen, and then... Um, as soon as that gets going, I'm going to bring out a red box because I know I'm going to need that. So I'm just going to put that in the middle of my work plane. And if I go to the video here, there's no... Um, I, I'll send you the name of the video. It's Tinkercad Chip Clip in the link. Um, but there's no sound. So you kind of have to just watch what they're doing. And I'm going to show you. But they make it thin and flat. I don't think it really matters exact dimensions. They're probably going to attach a cylinder to the end of it. Yep. And they're probably, probably going to group those together. Oop. There, that's what he wants, probably. And group, right? It's a rectangle with a rounded end. All right, that's really easy. So uh, I'm going to go back into Tinkercad and I'm going to zoom in on my cube. And I want this thing to be, oh, I'm going to go 45. That's like four and a half centimeters. That's probably pretty good um, that way. And it's 20 wide. It's probably good. I think I'm going to. Make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go 25. There, that's good. And I don't want it to be this thick, so that's 20. I'm going to say, what, 5? 5 millimeters? It's a half a centimeter thick. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll make it 7. Give it a little bit more thickness. All right, so now I'm going to bring out the cylinder. And remember, you can right click to orbit. And I zoom in using two fingers spreading apart on my mouse pad, uh, just the way I would if I was using an iPad. There's that. So I want this to be the same width. I know mine is 20. Five, so that should be about the right width. Oh, I should change this in two directions, so it stays round. I made it into an oval. There we go. So that is in position now. I think pretty good. So I want to change the height, and I think I had it at seven. Whoop. Seven. There. Now that's ready, almost ready to be joined. Looks like it could. Maybe go down a little bit. Let's see. That looks pretty good right there, I think. Good enough for a chip clip. All right. So I want to select both things and just hit the group button to group them together. And you'll know they're grouped because it all turns one color like that. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the tutorial to find out what I'm going to do next. Well, they changed it green. I can do that quick. Very easy. Oop, wrong software. <laughs> all right, so I uh, just click the solid, and it gives you all these colors. So they had it green. Cool. All Okay, so I saw a lot right there. Um, so what's going to happen now is I need to bring out a box. 
and I'm going to shrink it down small. If I click on that corner white box, I could do both of these. I'm going to go, what if I go 5 and 5? How big is that? I think that's right. Now, if I go up to the height, this thing's in my way, I can minimize it. That should be 7. How's that look? Oh, I think I'm in business there. Yeah, so I made mine 5 by 5 by 7 tall. And then what he did, actually, is he selected both of them, and he used the align feature. Remember, we learned about that in the lessons. And he puts it in the middle there. And... Oh, okay, like that. That's, that's what he did. And then he... Uh, he rotates it. Oop. And he rotated it like 45 degrees. So I got to click on. Oh, that's a problem, huh? I can't get that shape. Hm. Now I can. Forty five. Perfect. Now I can move this back. Well, maybe there is a good place to have that first one, I think. All right, I'm I've done everything that they did so far. So let's see what comes next. Make it a hole. Duplicate. Okay. Oop, wrong software again. Okay, here I am. So click on that. Make it a hole. And I can just hit this is duplicate. And then I want to move that one up to there. And I want to do that again. And I want to do it again, again, and again. It looks like teeth. And again, and that's probably pretty good. Let's see how many they have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. How many do they have? They have only four, five. Okay, they have five. Now they group, and it's going to cut the hole all the way through, so I can just kind of see what it looks like. Yeah, all right. All right, so, whoop, wrong software, back here. Then I want to, I'm going to keep going on mine, because I think it needs to be close to this end to uh, flex the right way. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it right there. So now I'm going to select everything. And group and there's my chip clip let's see if they do anything else that's probably gonna be it right there and that'll keep it, your bag of chips sealed up and we're just orbiting it around and looking at it bag clip all right that looks pretty good so I'll go back to here and I'm going to just be done with it. All right, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Here's a simple chip clip design in Tinkercad. Warp it around. You can see how that would work. Okay, bye.